Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like at o'clock again on Pearlism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom with B Pal Picks. B Pal Picks in the Patreon. The one that, if you comment in the comment section, I'll offer you the rest of this month for free. That one. And we had a few people do that already. We had uh, John. FaceTime. Jonathan Duncan. He's also the GOAT. He uh, he has his own website called, uh, or well, his, his own channel actually called Off the Wall Hockey. He joined up today. Simon Tran, actually. He went down there. He's got the free premium package. You do, All you got to do is comment in the, I will give you the link, or you can look it up in the uh, bio, which is just down there, down there, you know, where the bio is, and uh, go there, set yourself up with the premium package, and I'll reimburse you right away, that simple. What are you gonna get for that? Well, today I went, uh, I took Boston in, but I, I said take the juice and reg. Uh, for today, I didn't really think it was a good idea to do the picks that uh, because it was just tight games. I didn't really like them all that much. Um, the more I thought about it, maybe uh, Curtis, he said he was going to PL the Rangers and put that in a parlay. Curtis is also one of the fine uh, programmers there at uh, BPAL Picks. By the way, B is... Bork, Professor Joe Bork, Pro Joe, he gives our football and baseball leans quite a bit, uh, puts the odd hockey pick out there, but he does uh, football and baseball. Uh, I do tennis, which I am 90 and 47 right now, and I'm just hitting a few more today. Uh, I'm hitting them like crazy. If you want to make money, just go do my tennis picks all day, even if you don't care. Just throw a hundred bucks on every tennis pick that I got, and you're going to be up up money, guaranteed. Uh, well, not guaranteed. I can't guarantee it because then that would be I could be liable. Yeah, but it's it happens. It's happening. People are making a lot of money. Uh, let's go. I'm going to quickly give you Curtis's. Uh, he sends me in the morning. His first peek at tomorrow's games. Um, Oh, by the way, oh yeah, I hit an NCAA. We're five and one this year on NCAA. I hit a basketball. Uh, we are twelve and seven for basketball. I'll tell you what that basketball pick was in a second. But for tomorrow's games, you take read these. Get your pens and papers out, boys and girls. Get them out. Get your journals out. Sharpen them all up there. Okay, under New York Islander game. Uh, over Win Winnipeg game, really. Uh, under Dallas game, over Calgary game, Edmonton and over, Tampa Bay and over, if you get six. Winnipeg to win, Chicago plus one and a half, Carolina, San Jose, Vegas and the under, over San Jose game and Calgary. He leans Edmonton over in Detroit plus one and a half. That's his. Okay, you're going to hear mine and some of these differ. But the ones that are right on, the ones that are uh, the same, we hit quite a bit on. Um, you all, but you can choose whichever ones you like and put them in yours. Put them in a parlay. Put them in the comment section. And for commenting, I'll give you free this month. If you win and we had somebody hit and I forgot to write it down, somebody hit a parlay. Tell me who you are down there. I think it was like 4.3 odds. So he gets 4.3 points. I'll write it down and I'll put it out there. But so far, he's the only one that's hit. He's the one getting the free month next month. If you win the parlay challenge, you will get a free month next month. So... Lots of ways to get free money out there. Anyways, subscribe to this channel and you get a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace helicopter to your door by Melissa Hernandez. Knitted 
so kindly and lovely by Helen, Helen, the finest in the land lady of the knitting of the uh, Mayan HL pearls or wisdom necklace. Uh, it's her life work. Okay, so subscribe, hit the bell, do those things. That helps out a lot. I just want everybody to frolic over at the Patreon because the more the better. We're, we're getting some every day and it's really, I'm really enjoying it. I'm all a flutter. I'm perlo dancing. Like daily, every day. I'm just like, do the pearl, do it. Do, do it. Perlo, just try. Just try. There. See how that makes you feel? It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, let's get to our picks, shall we? All right, we will. We will right now. Um, okay, Tampa Bay, Florida. We have on the ML, on the money line. What did, uh, I think he said Tampa Bay, didn't he? Uh, did he even, Tampa and the over, if you're getting six. So I got Tampa in reg over Florida. If Bobrovsky is in net, I'm with Curtis on the over six. Uh, I'm actually even considering if Bobrovsky's in net, it turned the in reg. In reg, I think I figured out it was 190. Something like that, 190, somewhere around that. In regulation or your app may say three-way on the three-way. Um, if Bobrovsky is in net and it looks like it's likely, in fact, I think he will be, I consider the PL here at 240. I'm, that, I'm just not comfortable with Bobrovsky. He's played better this year, but a Tampa Bay team, now they're on the road, which makes it a little more difficult, but, and Florida is a hardworking team, but Bobrovsky, I just don't trust him, so... I, I would lean the over for sure. The problem I have is I'm not sure Florida is going to be able to score enough. Uh, at, at six, Florida is going to have to score at least two for a 5-2. And that's where I'm concerned about here. So I'm not as heavy on the over as Curtis is. Um, I'm not really heavy on the under. I'm probably fading the total here. But I do like Tampa in reg if you want to be on the safe side. PL if you like to gamble a little bit, you know. Go out there on a limb. Okay. New York Islanders versus Pittsburgh Penguins. <coughs> oh, shoot. Here we go. Okay. Both Curtis and I have this. So this is a big pick I call this a premium pick uh, Curtis and I both have this we both have we're both leaning Islanders ML the reason why I'm leaning, leaning Islanders ML is the last game or two they have looked like the Islanders of old they had some time off uh, Barry Trot had some practice time with some of their new players and it doesn't seem to take Barry long to get everybody back on track again and it looks like they are Pittsburgh still has a poop -dee defense. Uh, whether Matheson is in or not, I don't think it matters. I don't think he is. But they got too many guys that are playing too high in the lineup. And I know, uh, is it Olivier? Uh, he, he's, uh, he's playing on the top line. And it's cool and all. And he's playing well. But it's not what you want. I don't care what you say. He played junior last year. He's doing good. He's doing his, he's really good considering he's a junior player, but he's still a junior player. And they still have Cody Cece playing too high. Jari's struggling behind this defense. And the Islanders, the way they can frustrate the Pittsburgh Penguins, I definitely think, I, I, I definitely lean to the Islanders here on the ML uh, for 191 in some cases. Look at this 198. Bet Online is giving. The Islanders, the juice here. Go over to Bet Online if you can get there. And under five and a half, because when uh, the Islanders are playing their game, under five and a half is almost always the best bet. Now, if they do something funky and throw Sorokin in, the kid, 
then maybe I might change my mind here. So that's why we go over to the Patreon. That's just some of the stuff I do. In the middle of the day, you'll get a message while you're working, and it'll say, Islanders playing Sorokin. Cancel, maybe cancel your bet on the five on the under on five and a half. You know, that's what that's the type of service I provide at PayPal and PayPal picks industries there. So under five and a half, uh, we will go, which pays one ninety five, and you're getting plus money at five and a, under five and a half, and that's because the Islanders have been playing a lot of over games this year. But the way I see them playing right now. I can't see it. Okay, Montreal, Edmonton. Right. Um, I got, I like Curtis of Godley in Montreal here. He's got the over. Uh, it's hard not to take the over here. Uh, Allen will be in net. He's been playing very, very well. I don't know why. I just feel like the under is going to come in. I understand what Curtis is talking about. I understand the reasons why he would choose that. These are two high-octane teams. Now, Montreal didn't score against Toronto. Uh, maybe they open it up a little bit against Edmonton. But my thinking is they played Toronto really well. Toronto probably shouldn't have won that game. And I think ultimately Montreal is going to want to play like they did against Toronto. For most of the time. I don't think Julian's too happy with their overall defense, to tell you the honest truth, truth, even though their record has been good. Edmonton may struggle with that. Uh, they're coming off the road. They're played a lot, too. I think they're playing three games in four nights. I'm going to leave Montreal. I want to say in regulation here, but... I can't pull the trigger on it. I think I'll take my 165 and walk out, walk out happy. I'm probably going to bet under. However, it can't be a premium play because Curtis has got the over. See, if we don't have it the same, I'll put light pearls on it on the under, and I'll tell my patrons that, that, like, that like to follow Curtis, and you should because Curtis hits like crazy. I think he was 7-3 and three yesterday. He, he's hitting about he's, I, he's hitting better than I am right now. On picks, so uh, we go back and forth, back and forth. But right now, he's probably hitting a little better than I am. Uh, Chicago, Columbus. Um, this is a difficult game to cap because Chicago, uh, Columbus has Rorensky out. Chicago has a lot of injuries themselves, but Chicago's been playing very well. Uh, what did I have here? I did take the Blue Jackets ML. I'm taking the Blue Jackets ML, and I believe it was to do with an injury. Um, let's take a look here. Chicago. Yeah. Lucas Walmart being out. They're injured up the middle. They're having they're, they're they're injured up the middle. I got Columbus ML, but obviously I'm not like super high on it. Uh, I think he I think he's I think Curtis is taking Chicago PL. I get that. That makes sense. That might be the pick there actually. You're probably getting pretty decent juice on that. Let's look at the uh, spread for Chicago on that. Uh, 148, throw it in a parlay. Pretty good chance that's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to lean to the under here, but I might fade this altogether because, not the spread, I don't want the spread, I want the total. Under five and a half, yeah. Um, they've been playing, uh, Col because Columbus has had some, uh, oh, that's what it was. Columbus has had a chance now after Lion A got benched to practice together. And like Tortorella, like Barry Trotz, Tortorella doesn't take much to get his guys back in line again. If they're back in line again, Columbus usually plays under. So I'm going to lean the under here. That's what it was. Okay, Detroit, Nashville. Um, Nashville's just playing terrible. 
Uh, neither team is scoring all that much. I probably go the under here. Uh, Grice should be in that unless they do something silly and throw in a goaltender who I don't know who that would even be right now. Oh, yeah, it would be Pickard. Then maybe otherwise. But Nashville, doesn't matter if they put Rennie and Soros, neither one of them are playing well. The whole team's not playing well. Now, Detroit is a weak team nonetheless. Be on the safe side here. I would take, do what uh, Curtis is saying, and take the spread. On the spread, you are, Detroit is getting 165, which is more than Nashville on the, on the ML. I think it's very, very, very likely Detroit keeps it to at least one goal here, and you get your 165. Uh, when you're considering the money line for Nashville, is only paying 150. You're getting more juice on the puck line for Detroit than you are for Nashville, and they're both probably equally as bad. In fact, I think Detroit may out outwork Nashville and take this one. So, yeah, I, I, I like the PL for Detroit. Ottawa versus Winnipeg. Um, this is at six and a half. I think Curtis took an over here. I find that difficult, um, especially if Hollabuck's in net for Winnipeg. Ottawa just simply is not scoring enough. This may be a trend, and I messaged him, and I wanted to find out because he's the trend guy, but he never got back to me. So, again, comment down on the bottom. I'll give you some. I'll give you a free Free Patreon, uh, BPAL picks up for the rest of the month. You can check it out. You can get out whenever you want. You can just say, don't want it. Bye-bye. You're gone. Whatever. And uh, you don't. You wouldn't even have to pay. Just go check it out. And we're hitting like crazy. People are making money. You can go find out for yourself. That's why I do it because I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid for you to go check out how we're doing because we're doing great. So go check it out. Make some money. Uh, so... If, uh, if, I, if Curtis comes back with a trend that says otherwise, I may change my mind here. But as it stands, I do believe they're going to play Bressois. Bressois, Winnipeg, that is. Uh, Winnipeg's going to play Bressois, which is their backup goaltender. But he has been knocking it out of the park this year. Uh, so even at that, I don't think Ottawa is going to score enough against Winnipeg to get the total which is six and a half. Uh, I, I, I don't think Winnipeg's, Winnipeg can score. Um, Murray, I believe, will be in net for Ottawa. And at first, I would have been like all over the over because Murray was struggling early. Um, but he's turned it around and he's been playing very well. I think Winnipeg probably wins this uh, like 4-2, 4-1. Maybe even 3-2, something like that. Because Ottawa's just been playing a lot better. I'll take Winnipeg on the ML. And uh, on the money line, what are they paying? 153, not the greatest. Maybe even in reg. Winnipeg and reg. And you could probably get about 180 for that on Winnipeg and reg. 152 you can get here. Some, are, some of the lines are pretty low. Uh, and then the under. Um... Dallas versus Carolina. I think Curtis has Carolina here, and I understand why. Um, for me, it's going to depend on whether Ottinger in goal is goal in goal or Hudobin is going back. Uh, Hudobin got some spankings who had to go to the spanking institute in the Dallas area there. Uh, Rick Bonus was not very happy with him. For whatever reason, he did something that went against the, everything that bonus stands for apparently and he was uh, he was put in the doghouse big in the doghouse hasn't been able to play for two games um, now it says on uh, on left wing lock which I don't have up here right now it says that uh, left wing lock it's the best there I said it that Hudobin is likely not likely is projected um, now, for Carolina, Reimer is probably going to play because Mrazek is hurt unless they go back with Nedel, uh, Nedeljkovic, who had a strong game, and that's possible. 
So goaltending is really big here. Now, Nadel Nadelkovic had the best game I've ever seen him play. His, the last game he played against Dallas. So I understand the Carolina lean. I'm leaning Dallas ML still. I just, if Reimer's back again, he's been playing too much. Reimer's not a number one goaltender. And uh, the more you play him, the, the worse he gets. So I'm a little concerned about that. And Trocek and Nietzsche, who are their two of their top three centers, are, is hurt. That was the other reason. For that alone, I may go with Dallas. Now, Dallas is getting plus money on the ML. Yeah, that's, that's a sweet play right there. Sweet play. They've been very inconsistent this year, and it's difficult to read them. But I'm going to kind of lean Dallas on this game. Los Angeles and San Jose. L.A., ever since they were uh, Walker and Roy, two of their uh, top six defensemen have been out. Uh, I said before the season I liked L.A. to make the playoffs. However, it really depends on how many injuries they had on defense. Right out of the box, pretty much, they have two significant defense, injuries on defense. They have players playing in their lineup. One of them is Doglin, Doglin, who was a junior player last year. Really shouldn't be playing as many minutes as he is. And San Jose exposed that last game. I'm going back to San Jose, should they say Sharks ML, especially if Quick is in net. And i got to go to the over here at five and a half. They're putting it over at five and a half. The last game, I believe, was 4-3. Uh, and uh, San Jose started rolling a little bit. San Jose is playing a record for them, like 13 games on the road because they can't play in San Jose. So their home games are in Arizona, which has been pretty tough for them. But I've liked the way they played as of late. Um, I think Dubnik should be a net. Uh, with that in mind, with Dubnik and Net, I'm a little sketchy on the over there, so I'll have to see. But I'm going to take San Jose ML. Calgary, Vancouver, very interesting game. Uh, I think he, I think my bro said Calgary for this game. Cal I said that when Vancouver got home, got some rest. I was going to take Vancouver, but it's completely dependent on whether Holtby is in that in this game or not. If Holtby is in that, and they haven't said what right now, I believe Demko is considered fairly likely. If Demko is in that, I'm going to take Vancouver. If Holtby is not, I'm going to take Calgary. Just I promised myself I would take them. Plus, I love the juice at 220 at home. I think Vancouver is a way better team than they've shown. And getting some rest and being at home, you may be able to see it. The problem is Calgary's playing better than they have in quite some time, too. So it's very difficult. And what's the spread here? Six and a half. I understand the over here. If Holtby's in, I could see that going. I could really see that going over. If Demko's in, I'm a little sketchy on that. Um, Again, what do we have for Curtis here? Curtis goes. He didn't put anything in for it. He just likes Calgary. He didn't do anything for the spread. Over, over. He likes the over. I get the over. I may go that way myself. Anaheim, Vegas. I got Vegas in reg. Uh, the problem with Vegas is, much like what it was with uh, that we just talked about with L.A., is they have some fairly significant injuries on defense. Laner should be in net. He hasn't been doing his best this year, but he should do good well enough against an Anaheim team that, although they scored a lot last game, hasn't been scoring a lot this year. Vegas's overall forwards, though depth, Really overpowers Anaheim on paper. Um, they're at home too. I'm going with Vegas, and I'm probably going over five and a half. Vegas is just a powerhouse offensively right now. 
Well, boys and girls, that's our full 42. I hope to see you over at Patreon, and I can't wait to hear your comments, whether or not you want it or not. Whether or not you want to go to Patreon or not, comment down there. Put your parlays down. Let's have some fun. Let's frolic together. I want to enjoy, I want to enjoy your presence. I want to connect. That's my full 42, everybody. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya.